We're protesting against the furries because they're trying to spray us with the breeze in our eyes. They're biting at us, they're scratching at us, they're growling at us, they're barking at us. And we're trying to make a difference and change that for all Nebo School District so younger kids don't have to grow up dealing with this. We begin in Payson where a group of about 75 protesters showed up to Nebo Middle School today. They say it's an issue over students who call themselves furries. But how much of that discontent is fueled by rumor? Our Sarah Murphy asked that question. She's here with what she found out. Sarah, what's this all about? All right, Brian. Well, the term furry, it refers to someone interested in animals with human qualities. Now, they dress up like this as a cartoon version of an animal. Now, we've learned there have been reports at Nebo Middle School that students are getting mistreated over this topic. There was some kids dressed up as animals, and I heard that another kid got bit by one of them. There's a lot of speculation surrounding the protest that happened at Nebo Middle School Wednesday morning. <laughs> Nearly 75 students and parents showed up facing the school, saying they're unhappy with how administration is handling reports of harassment. Okay. This is video a Nebo Middle School student took last week. Parents say there's an issue between some students and others who call themselves furries, or people who enjoy dressing up as cartoonish animals. Back when I went to school, you know, you couldn't dress that way, you couldn't do certain things, and I think it kind of needs to go back a little bit. Like, I know kids need their own personalities, but it's ridiculous when kids are dressing like animals and licking and biting people. I just don't think that's okay. <laughs> but the Nebo School District tells us it's not that extreme. Seth Sorensen says no one was scratching or biting anyone and that there are a lot of untrue rumors going around. It actually is not something that's been occurring. In fact, a lot of the information that's been put out there is completely incorrect and inaccurate. And so we're still trying to get on top of that. I've heard uh, rumors about furries in school, and every, people on the media say it's it's a it's a myth. It's not really true. No. How, what do you what do you say about that? I say that it is very true, and these kids are mentally ill, and they're trying to force their illness upon us. What are they uh, What are they doing in class? Like, how are they uh, being they, identified as furries? They wear costumes. They sit on all fours. Kendall? Kendall, and Kirsten. Hi. Oh, hi. Nice you have your mom's permission to talk to the news, right? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, yeah. But they are having right us now. sit, like they're sitting on all fours in class perch. They're wearing animal costumes. They're growling at us, barking at us in class. And it's very distracting, and we just want to come to school to learn. They're barking at you in class? Yeah. Okay. They try to give us babies. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of what kind of animal costumes are they wearing? Uh, cats, dogs, foxes. Like anything. what do you mean? Like a full-on bodysuit or what? They're like tails, tails ears. Ass. It's very sexual and inappropriate. They're wearing butt plug tails underneath like skirts. They're wearing dog collars to school with leashes hanging off. It's it's just not okay. Interesting. Yeah. How old are the kids in these in these uh, like, classes? 11, like 11, 11 through 13. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, and 10, 13. To, 10, 10 to 13. 10 to 13. 10 to 13 or 14. Yeah, it's just really bad. Where are they getting these ideas? Their They're parents. Getting, the parents. Their parents. The parents, the internet, well, anywhere. Well, okay. I don't know if it's the parents. They might just be doing it themselves. It, it is. Yeah, just, it, just the parents. Know. The parents are a big part of their lives, and that's probably one of the big reasons. What's the point? What are they doing it for? Attention. <laughs> Thank you. This is Strudel, a member of the furry fandom. Though they've been a furry for over a decade, they have their own opinions. It's crazy that it's escalated to this point where these kids are being so distracting to their peers that their peers want to stage a walkout. So to have you know the next generation kind of muddy our name and um, not represent it very well, it is kind of disappointing. Strudel believes there should be some limits. Continue doing things you like, continue dressing up, um, continue making art, but maybe let's keep it outside of school hours. As for the school, Sorensen says they have one main goal. We want every student to feel safe when they come to school, and we want students to get along. In fact, we want adults to get along. 
Okay, so the district says they've worked with some students whose dress and appearance they say might be disruptive to the school environment. They say they do invite parents to talk with administration to learn more about how they're handling the situation. Thank you for telling me that. See, there's a typical well, fake news you, deal. You asked no, him when look, he was a police. It's not about agenda. It's not about mobilizing people. It's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders. Ha, 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 ha.